The National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, launched the twin spacecraft Voyager 1 and 2 in 1977, and they have now successfully navigated through the solar wind termination shock and into the interstellar medium. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we will be talking about the impossible discovery Voyager 1 has made after 45 years in space. While Voyager 2 is 11 billion miles distant from Earth, Voyager 1 is 35 years and 11 billion miles away. To research the outer solar system and the interstellar region beyond the Sun's heliosphere, it was first launched in 1977. The first spacecraft to pass through Jupiter and Saturn was Voyager 1. For a generation, many media outlets and textbooks have used the photographs that Voyager 1 returned. Unexpected diversity was discovered by Voyager 2. The outer planets, in contrast to the rocky inner planets Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, are enormous bodies of gas and liquids without any any solid surfaces. Terrestrial planets are the names given to Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars's inner planets. The Sun and its planets are enclosed in a huge bubble in space. It was produced by the solar wind, which is the continuous discharge of charged particles from the Sun. Our solar system's edge is represented by this bubble. Scientists have found a spooky and strange phenomenon at the edge of the solar system, the heliopause, which marks the transition between the heliosphere, the bubble of solar wind that surrounds the solar system, and the interstellar medium, appears to be ripping and forming unexpectedly in oblique angles. The idea that heliopause is dynamic is not new. Over the past 10 years, scientists have come to this conclusion. Data for the only two spacecrafts to have left the heliosphere so far, Voyager 1 and 2, as well as NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer IBEX satellite, which studies the emissions of energetic neural atoms ENAs, created when solar winds and the interstellar medium interact, were used to make this discovery. The only direct on-site measurement of where these borders are can be found from the Voyager spacecraft, but only at one specific instant in time and space. Princeton University space physicist Eric Zimstein wrote to Vice in an email. IBEX completes that data. The information has been utilized by researchers to build models that forecast changes in heliopause. In a nutshell, solar winds and the interstellar medium interact to form a border that is constantly shifting. However, results from more recent studies on the heliopause appears to be at odds with earlier conclusions. IBEX recorded the brightening of ENAs over a period of many months in 2014 that suggested asymmetries in the heliopause, and the scientists later found Found the asymmetries were inconsistent with the models. Vice said the heliopause shifted substantially in a relatively short amount of time. The scientists found after evaluating data from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 missions. That contributes to the understanding of why there was such a long interval between the entry of the two probes into interstellar space, in 2012 and 2018 respectively. But the models also disagree with the kind of movement by the heliopause. These differences were described by the researchers as intriguing and potentially controversial in an article that was published on October 10th in the journal Nature Astronomy. According to Zimstein, they intend to keep researching the heliopause in the hopes of learning more from NASA's interstellar mapping and acceleration probe, and a modernized satellite that will be launched in 2025 and be able to detect ENAs. We can only speculate about this strange occurrence as it occurs in the spooky depths of the solar system till then. That contributes to the understanding of why there was such a long interval between the entry of the two probes into interstellar space in 2012 and 2018 respectively. However, the Voyagers are involved in other mysteries as well. In space, no one can hear you scream was the unforgettable tagline used in the advertising for the iconic sci-fi horror movie Alien, which debuted in 1979. However, it made no mention of humming, a low rhythmic hum that has been heard by the instruments of NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, which left the outer reaches of our solar system 10 years ago. The more remote man-made object in space, Voyager 1 of the two twin NASA spacecrafts, launched 45 years ago, is still operational and hurtles into infinity. The spacecraft is currently in the interstellar medium, having long since shot past the solar system's edge and through the heliopause, which separates the solar system from interstellar space. The call and response of one message between NASA and Voyager take two days because of the interstellar location of the Voyager and 20 hours and 33 minutes it takes light to go 
one way. The Voyager team still thinks the ship's systems are functional, but the instrument's data readouts appear erratic or impossible. The spaceship has not yet been forced into safe mode due to the system problem. Only necessary activities are carried out during that time so that the engineers can identify any problems that could endanger the spaceship. Additionally, Voyager's signal is as powerful as it has ever been, indicating that the antenna is still facing Earth. The team is attempting to ascertain whether this inaccurate data is being generated solely by this instrument or if it is being generated by another system. According to a NASA press statement, the team cannot predict whether this would limit how long spacecraft can gather and transmit science data until the nature of the problem is better known. With this, we conclude our video. We appreciate you helping us keep it going by watching. The best way to support our channel is to watch another episode. Thank you for tuning in. To ensure that you never miss an episode, please subscribe to the channel.